Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe to my channel. Top 9 Managing Student Loans Repayment Plans and Loan Forgiveness So make sure to watch the full video. Don't forget your student loans, make a plan. Most borrowers have plenty of time before they start paying off their loans. The award period begins after the child graduates leave school or is enrolled part-time or less. It is important to use this time wisely to make decisions and plan. If the process has disappointed you, please contact the Department of Education, ED Federal Office of Student Aid, FSA. Then choose the payment plan that suits your situation. Your lender will present you with several options. The Income Repayment IDR plan takes your income and family size into account when determining your monthly loan amount. Your student loan officer can answer any of your repayment questions. If you don't know who, go here for a list of federal student loan service providers or visit the National Student Loan Data System. You must admit it for the payment to be valid. Finding the right repayment plan for you, just as you need to find the right university for you, you need to find the right reimbursement plan for you. If you have a lower income and a higher federal loan amount, an income repayment plan may be the best option for you. 17. These services will make your loan more affordable by reducing your monthly payments. A more comprehensive plan that will allow you to pay off your student loans faster while lowering interest rates. Repayment plans are typically divided into three categories, standard, incremental, and deferred. A standard repayment plan allows you to repay your loan in 10 years. In the short term, your monthly payments will be high, but you will save on interest. The graduate repayment plan also has a payback period of 10 years. However, the lower premium will increase every two years. Payment deferral for borrowers with over $30,000 in federal loans who want the option to repay their loans for 25 years. 9. Calculate your total debt. As with any type of debt, the first thing you should know is the total amount that you owe. Students often graduate with several loans, potentially both federally sponsored and private, having arranged for new financing each year they were in school. Only by knowing the amount of your total debt can you develop a plan to pay it down, consolidate it, or possibly apply for and receive forgiveness. 8. Check the graduation period. As you examine the details, you will see that every loan has a grace period. This is the long time you need to start repaying your loan after you graduate. The grace period will vary depending on the type of loan you have. For example, Stafford loans have six months, while Perkins loans have nine months for you to start paying back. 7. Seek debt forgiveness. In some extreme cases, you can apply for debt forgiveness or student loan forgiveness. You may be eligible if your school closes before you can complete your degree, if you are permanently disabled or if paying off debt will result in bankruptcy. A less common but specific option for student loan forgiveness is if you have worked as a teacher or other public service worker. In June 2023, the Supreme Court ruled that the Biden administration's plan to forgive student loans was illegal, but Biden responded to the decision by announcing that the Department of Education would seek another plan, this time to assist student loans under the Higher Education Act. 6. Find alternative plans. If you have a federal student loan, you can contact your loan service provider and set up an alternative repayment plan. Here are some options. Amortization. Increase your monthly payments every two years over the 10-year loan term. The program allows early payment of lower fees based on the entry salary. It is also assumed that you will get a raise or move into a higher paying position as the decade progresses. Deferred payment. This allows you to extend the loan for a longer period, such as 25 years instead of 10 years, resulting in a lower monthly payment. Supplementary income. It is a payment based on your gross income, AGI, not to exceed 20% of your income for up to 25 years. After 25 years, the balance of your debt is forgiven. Income. If you can afford financial hardship, the monthly payment pays 10% of your monthly income for up to 20 years. The process will be strict, but once you qualify, you can continue to pay under the program even if you are no longer depressed. Note that while these plans and other repayment options may lower your monthly payments, they may also mean you pay more. Also, none of these options apply to private student loans. 5. Consider consolidation. Once you know the details, you may want to consider combining all your credits. One of the biggest benefits of consolidation is that it usually lowers your monthly payment burden. It can also extend your payback period, which is good because it also means you pay more. Also, the interest rate on a consolidated loan may be higher than the interest rate on some of your existing loans. Be sure to compare loan terms before signing a joint venture. There are other important things to remember before merging. 
If you consolidate, you forfeit the right to deferral options and any income from the repayment plans that come with some federal loans. For Debt Avalanche Strategy Use As with any repayment strategy, it's best to pay off the loan with the highest interest rate first. One of the best ways is to spend a certain amount in addition to your monthly payments, and then allocate the excess to the loan with the highest interest rate. After the loan is paid off, apply the full monthly loan amount, regular payments plus excess, on that loan to the loan with the second highest interest rate, then the third highest interest rate, and so on until you're out of debt. This is a version of the debt avalanche process. Debt avalanche strategy example, let's say you have a student loan debt of $300 per month. Of these, a loan with a 4% interest rate should pay $100. A loan with a 5% interest rate should pay $100. And a loan with a 6% interest rate should pay $100. After the loan is paid off, you will divide the $150 you paid into a 5% loan, and you will now pay $250 per month for this loan. After paying off the 5% loan, the final 4% loan will be paid at an interest rate of $350 per month until all student debt is fully paid off. 3. Principal Repayment Another debt repayment strategy is to pay off as much principal as possible. The faster you reduce your bank balance, the less interest you will pay over the life of the loan. Since interest is included in the monthly salary amount, the lower the amount, the lower the interest. 2. Automatic Debits some private and federal student loans offer discounted interest rates if you accept monthly withdrawals from your checking account. For example, participants in the Federal Direct Financing Program receive a 0.25% discount. 1144-4410 Postponement of payment if you are not yet working, you can ask the school loan to defer payment. If you have a federal student loan and are eligible for a deferral, the federal government will not pay your interest during the approved deferral period. If you are not eligible for a deferment, you can request a deferral from your lender, which will stop your loan for now. When the payments are delayed, the interest to be paid in the deferred payment period will be added to the loan amount. 1. Know the terms. As you write about the size of your debt, learn the terms of each loan. Each will have different interest rates and different repayment rules. You need this information to set up a repayment plan to avoid additional interest, fees, and penalties. How do you manage your student loan debt? Some ways to manage student loan debt include paying more than the minimum monthly payment, sticking to a budget, consolidating or refinancing loans, seeking loan forgiveness, and exploring different payment plans. What happens if you don't pay off your student loans? Defaulting on student loans can be devastating to your credit profile. This is similar to defaulting on other loans. Your credit could be considered bad, go to a collection agency, review your credit report, and it could negatively affect your credit score. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button. Also, subscribe to our channel before you go.